everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. So far in 2022, we've seen some pretty remarkable changes in terms of GPU mining. The most significant probably being the recent 100% LHR unlock for LHR graphics cards mining Ethereum. But if we go back to the beginning of 2022, one of the things that changed the landscape of GPU mining significantly was the introduction of dual mining Ethereum and Ton and Ethereum and Alathium. So once that was introduced, it was adopted widespread. And I know today is May 21st, 2022. To this day, there is a significant number of miners out there that are still dual mining both of these coins very profitably. So I'm sad to say today that I believe Ton coin mining is going to come to an end sooner than what I think we had all anticipated. So let's take a look. We're on the ton.org slash mining website, and we'll talk a little bit about Toncoin. Toncoin is distributed by proof of work givers, which are smart contracts with certain amount of Toncoin assigned to them. So how does this work? So the Ton blockchain actually uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism. As such, mining is not required to generate new blocks. However, Toncoin was initially distributed via special proof of work giver smart contracts, best thought of as a pre-mine. So essentially the way that Ton was getting coins into distribution was through these proof of work giver smart contracts. Once those proof of work contracts have depleted and all of that coin is in circulation, the blockchain is proof of stake. So there is no more mining Ton after these contracts are depleted. So mining is used to obtain Ton coin from the smart contracts, anyone can mine against the proof of work giver contracts and receive Toncoin from them. But proof of work giver contracts have their limits and will dry out once users mine all available Toncoin. This is expected to happen in late summer 2022. As I mentioned, today is May 21st, 2022. So if we scroll to the bottom of the page, we can look at the mined Toncoin in the last 24 hours. How much Toncoin have each giver given over the last 24 hours? So we've got the giver contract, the bleed, so this is the bleed rate, and days till depletion. Well, if you look at these 24, 20, 22, 32, the highest depletion number is 35, let's call it 36 days. That really puts us to the end of proof of work mining of Toncoin by the end of June, 2022, which is of course much earlier than the end of summer of 2022. Now, I don't, I have not been tracking these numbers. So I don't know if these are adjusting based on network difficulty, network hash rate, if these numbers can increase, if they slow the bleed. Uh, again, I don't know how the, all of that works, but if someone out there watching this video does know, please leave me a comment in the comments section below and help me understand if I'm stating any of this incorrectly. But the way I'm interpreting this today is that Toncoin mining will come to an end in June of 2022. Now, personally, I think this is a very, very unfortunate turn of events. Uh, again, as I'd mentioned, I think the introduction of dual mining has changed the landscape of GPU mining. I think this is something that is extremely important for the health of GPU mining. And of course, we are still going to have the ability to dual mine Ethereum and Alathium until Ethereum moves to proof of stake, which could happen as early as August of this year. So is there a future for dual mining? I certainly hope so. Um, there are other ETH coins out there that can be mined. And, you know, maybe there is some future for dual mining those coins. Maybe there's a future for dual mining, uh, you know, Ethereum Classic and Alathium or some other coin or project that we have yet to really think about. Uh, but I really do hope that the developers out there, the different project projects out there are thinking about this because I do believe that dual mining is uh, very important for the future of GPU mining. Now, that being said, there are some coins out there that from in terms of GPU mining, they do require a significant amount of core and a significant amount of memory. So dual mining is really not an option. But if we limit ourselves in terms of what we can mine, then we are going to essentially choke down 
the GPU mining community. So we need to have as many options out there as possible, uh, preferably as many profitable options out there as possible. So I'm really curious to hear uh, what your thoughts are on this. I'm curious to know what your plans are. First, once uh, you know Tan becomes unminable, are you just going to move over and continue dual mining with Ethereum and Alephium? And then further on down the road, what are your plans? Are you hoping that there are something out there that can be dual mined, or are you planning on moving to another uh, existing project or existing coin? Really love to hear what your thoughts are. So I just want to uh, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video today. If you did learn anything or enjoyed watching this, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell for uh, to be notified of future content. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.